There are several different boards with the transistor L298, but they connect in a similar way. This board can drive one bipolar stepped motor or two DC motors simultaneously and have the ability to control the direction and the speed with the Arduino code. This video will show how to connect, configure and program an L298N board to work with the stepped motor. If you want to connect a DC motor, look for my other video, L298 for a DC motor, in jumpingkit.com or in my YouTube channel. The links is in the description of this video. You recognize a bipolar stepped motor because it has four wires, which must be connected in pairs. To know which cable goes together, you must use a multimeter to measure ohms. Take two wires and test ohms. If it's a pair, you get some reading. Another way is to test an open circuit. If it is a pair, the circuit will close and beep. Now we know that the red and the blue is one pair and the green and the black is the other pair. As we can see in this video, the stepped motor works by connecting each pair of cables in sequence and reversing the polarity. Now connect the motor to the board. First get any pair and connect it into the out one and out two. Then connect the second pair into the out three and out four. Now connect the cables that go from the board to the Arduino. First install two jumpers to the first pin ENA and the last pin EMB. This will power the motor with the 5 volts per channel. Then, from the N1, N2, N3 and N4 in the board to the Arduino pins number 8, 9, 10 and 11. Now, the power supply. You can use 5 to 12 volts to power the board. The ground will have to connect to the board, the board and the Arduino in sequence. It is very important. The 5 volt output from the board connected into the 5 volts pin into the Arduino. This gotta be this gotta power the Arduino. In summary, connect the first pair in out one and out two and the second pair in out 3 and out 4. Connections N1, N2, N3 and N4 on the board to the pins 8, 9, 10 and 11 on the Arduino. The 5 volts connection on the board to the 5 volts pin on the Arduino. Now, from the power supply, power the board with the 5 to 12 volts maximum and grounded the board and the Arduino in a closed circuit with the power supply. It is very important. Now the code. Let's program the Arduino. You can copy the code directly from my site jumpingkit.com. First include the stepper. This library is installed in your IDE Arduino by default. If not, install it. Now configure the first motor. The first number, 200, specify the numbers of steps in your motor. In this case, our motor have 200 steps per one revolution. The next four numbers specify the Arduino pins that are connected into the board. Now into the loop, set the speed 150, just to start. This can vary depends on you and your motor. Next, advance 200 steps in the forward direction, which is the same as a complete revolution in my motor. 
wait 100 milliseconds. Then advance 200 steps in a reverse direction. Then wait 100 milliseconds. Then start the loop again.